Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to make today. This is my favorite of the buckle cards, but it is the easiest probably. So you lift this up. I've got a piece of Velcro under there. Lift that up. The card comes open like this. So isn't that sweet? You just put it back in there, press that down. You've got your Velcro piece that's closed it. You could use a magnet instead of Velcro if you wanted to. Velcro just seems to go through the mail a lot easier than magnets do so that's why I use that again we're using the same paper collection as before the fall market from Cartabella in our September kit I did put a couple of little brads right here to help hold that piece down didn't want that piece coming off but you've got plenty of journaling spots on the inside and then you just slot it in like that to close it back up all right so let's get into the card so for this one, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is six and a quarter by five and a half, and you're going to score at two inches. Okay. Then you need a piece of white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter, and on the four-inch side, you're going to score at three and a half. So again, this one is four by five and a quarter, and you're going to score at three and a half or at one half inch, whichever one you want to do. It's just easier for me to score down here. All right, that is your scoring done. And now all I'm going to do is fold this over and use my bone folder to make a really good crease in here. Because you want this to be flat. Then I'm just going to clip off these ends so that they don't show from the front. Just like that. Alright. So this is going to go down right there. So we will go ahead and fold this one. And do our creasing. So there's your card base, and the card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now this piece is going to go down on the inside. This is going to be, uh, um, over here is going to be where you can write your sentiment and that kind of thing. But we're also going to put a piece down here. All right, let's go ahead and mat the front of this and the inside right here. This mat is cut at one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And we're going to put this on the front right here. Use our art glitter glue. There we go. Then we're going to put this one down on the inside. And I think I might use that side of that. All right. Before we put that one down, I almost messed up. Now I want to put this right here on the front. This is what is going to be our little buckle part. So I'm going to put it down kind of in the center. Let's see if we can center this up just a little bit. I'm not going to stress over it, but I'm just going to kind of see if that's close. Yep. All right, so we're going to glue it down right there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of it first, just a tiny bit. And I'm starting it right at the edge of where that mat is. Now I want this to be held down really tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little piercer here, I'm going to put it on a foam piece. And we're going to pierce through that right there and pierce through that end. And I have a couple of little brads here that I'm going to put in there. And they're just little flower brads. And then I'm going to flip it over and open those up. This is just going to help reinforce that outside and hold it. I'm going to press this down really well my bone folder. All right, so there we go. We've got that on. Now we're going to put our inside mat on. So we, you do that before you put the inside mat on. I almost messed up again. 
as I told you guys, I make these. When you see me make one, that's the first time I've made it. I do a little prototype that I kind of half throw together. I'll show you my prototype. It's like half thrown together. <laughs> and that's all I do. I don't, I don't make a bunch of these ahead of time. All right, so there is our little latch part there. Now we're going to put this down. Now this we're going to need to center up as best we can. So put your glue right here on that little flap. Then you're going to put it kind of out toward the edge. Now I'm going to kind of look at it before I press it down. See if that's about right. Okay. All right, we're going to press that down right there. Make sure that looks kind of even. All right, now we're going to put our piece down in here. This piece is cut the same size as this. Then we have a mat that's going to go right here on this piece. So we're going to put that mat down. This mat is cut at three and a quarter by five. So we're going to put this down right there, just kind of evening it up. There we go. Now we're going to take our die, the one that we cut the hole with, and we are going to lay it on here, right at the spot where that needs to be cut out. Okay, so all I did was I just looked at this and then put my little die right there in line with it and I'm just kind of checking to make sure that I have it even up and down okay that looks good so I'm going to take this over to my die cutting machine and I'm going to run it through and cut that hole out okay here we go Pull that off. I love my purple tape. I'm telling you, that's a lifesaver. We'll save that little piece for later. We might use it somewhere else. And then all you do to close this up is you slide that down in there and close it just like that. But as you see, it, it kind of wants to pop up because of the way we've got it closed. So I put a little piece of Velcro on the back of this. Now you can use a magnet if you want. I used Velcro because I didn't want the extra heaviness for it going through the mail. But if you want to use a magnet, you can. I just like the Velcro on mine. So I put a Velcro piece on there and now it closes perfectly. And then to open it, they just pull the Velcro up, open it that way. And you can see the Velcro piece doesn't even show unless you get up really close. So that's how that one closes. Isn't that cute? All right, let's see what kind of other decorating we want, might want to do on here. I do want to put a couple of pieces of bling on this. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put some bling right down through here. I want to bring that green out as much as I can. And this is the enamel dots that we got with our kit. 
so it kind of brings that green out that's in there all right so if you open this up then you've got plenty of places to write you could even put a mat over here if you wanted to i'm just going to leave that for all kinds of writing space then just slide it back in like that and close it up and again i'm going to use some of our chipboard pieces and this just says lovely days and i'm just going to put that right there at the top so we're at the pumpkin patch lovely days that is all that we're going to do to this card so i think that is it. it's very quick and easy once you get your little pieces cut out this card comes together so quick but i absolutely love it it's different and it's just easy i like quick and easy and different <laughs> all right guys that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed day three of our buckle card series if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that little bell so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos we will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching bye bye